I want to start off talking about music and spirituality by discussing the psychology of music. I feel that if we look at both sides, we can truly have a better understanding of the big picture. You see, it all started in 1982 when research began in supermarkets with different tempos of music. As you can already guess, faster tempo music caused people to move faster. Slower music subconsciously caused people to walk up and down the aisles at a slower pace. This gave shoppers more time to be captivated by the displays and marketing. In return, spending more money. In the same way, high volume restaurants play fast tempo music to make you eat faster and get you in and out in less time. As this research has been used to manipulate us, we can utilize it to learn how to use music as a positive tool. As you may already listen to fast tempo music to work out or run, you can do the same when cleaning at home. Slower tempo music should be used when studying or reading. Now, we've all been there when you're sad and you just want to listen to sad music. Sad music, however, is only bringing negativity on top of negativity. Instead, if we listen to more happy and uplifting music, we can use it as an audio antidepressant of sorts. This may have a cough syrup effect at first, however, and it might taste bad and the grape really isn't great, but once it starts coating your throat and kicking in, it heals. I leave you with this. The next time you want to listen to a particular song that your memory has brought up, ask yourself, will this keep me where I am or bring me closer towards where I want to be? Use music, don't let music use you.